各位观众、各位听众、各位网友，大家好！现在问话已经是夜晚了，我们看到这里还有很多人，因为今天是十二月八号，是国际人权日。那么现在到晚上了，还有很多人在这里展示电影和一些真相资料，那么介绍香港的一些情况。那么也有一些人呢，陆陆续续的过来问一些问题。他们通过看了这个电视之后，拿到一些资料之后，有些人就明白了香港发生的情况。那么，我们的镜头给大家介绍更多的内容，请大家继续收看。Talking about mass law in, in in cases of mass unrest, which there isn't. Yes, yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, it's determined unconstitutional in Hong Kong too. The mass law. So, no, that the law, the 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 court said it was unconstitutional. Yeah, I was there, so I know. Oh, you were in Hong Kong. Oh, okay, okay, cool. You're a little misinformed there. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Anyway. The the mass law, it's unconstitutional. It was determined unconstitutional. Protest. Yeah. No. Okay. Scooter protest. So I'm just, you guys, uh, let's say Hong Kongese are doing this because, like, uh, human rights, right? Because they don't like the Chinese government, Chinese communist government. If they they say something, that we could be punished, right? Understand, right? Yeah. There's no freedom in China. That's that's, okay. Yeah. But I'm just concerned about because there was a guy, right, in um the Japanese dude in Hong Kong. And people thought he was from mainland, and just because he didn't speak Cantonese, he's beating up, still unconscious to this day right now. So that's understandable. But the other thing, the other side happened too, because there was a Japanese student that got arrested for simply wearing black, and the cops arrested him, and there was a whole inter, almost an international incident with the consulate. Okay. And my friend was Japanese, and she she received the warning to be careful of the police. She lives in Hong Kong. She's Japanese, and she was told by the Japanese consulate to be. Be careful of the police. Okay. So I understand both sides have done yeah, yeah. crappy stuff, right. and there's no argument there. But the fact of the matter is, the cops are going around arresting people just for wearing black. Is there's no arrested? Yes. For just wearing black. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And this oh. is this is. Uh, was he wearing a mask or? No, he was just walking around. Walking by a, yeah, a he he was a student. Was he released though? Or? Uh, he's he got released after the Japanese consulate came in and. And had to fix the problem, but basically they arrested. What the fuck is this? Uh, I don't know, but anyway, yeah. you're a little misinformed about. Okay. But no, no, because yeah. I know maybe like some of the information. Yeah. I uh, obviously I can read Chinese and English, right? I can I can watch some news from mainland. I can know some news from CNN, BBC, right? They're biased. Every news is biased, right? That's that's true. So I decided I'm going to visit Hong Kong like myself, yeah. like uh, for Christmas break. And then, so I will see it myself. But what I'm seeing right now from like uh, South China Morning Post, what they're saying is like people bystander get that shit out of my face, dude. Holy shit! Like, try. That what I'm seeing is like bystander, yeah. right? Who doesn't support just because they don't support a man? Get that shit out of my face, please. Like, okay, okay, okay. Just stay away from me, okay? <laughs> Like what I'm seeing right now is bystander who don't support a protest, right? Because there's people who want to work or want to yeah. support their family, just get beaten up or set on fire. Like the guy yeah. who was like yeah. pouring gasoline, like I pour yeah, gasoline yeah. and just tie you up on fire. You know, you know that guy? Yeah, you heard about it? Yeah, I've heard about yeah, it. Yeah, do you see the video? Definitely, some of the protesters have gone out of line. Yeah, I don't yeah, control but, totally. Yeah, yeah. But like, like I think the police have gone out of line too, and they have not de-escalated the situation. I've been. I lived there. I lived there. Hold like on. yes, I lived there. Oh. I left only recently. Right? Oh, okay. They were tear gassing my neighborhood, on a on a week weekend basis. Like oh. every weekend, tear gas. You tear know. Gas? And you know, there's plenty of people who don't protest, right? Who live in those buildings, and the gas just comes into our apartment. Like you smelled it. <laughs> it it affected us. I couldn't oh. breathe. Oh. I couldn't do anything. Like I had to. I work at home, but I couldn't work because they keep tear gassing us. You know, like. And you know, I don't protest 
all the time. Okay. I, I just sit in my house, you know, oh, trying so to work. You were part of the protest. Uh, I went out to march with them. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's not like I was, you know, part yeah, of the. I, I, I yeah, I'm not. I'm not one no, of the violent I'm ones. Saying, no, I'm not yeah. saying like, yeah. protest. You're not allowed to protest yeah. or anything, right? Peaceful protest is fine. I'm yeah. okay, definitely okay with that. But like yes. the way the how, problem is, even peaceful protests are being beat up. Like I've seen it happen. People just walking on the street, and the cops uh -huh. just come up and grab you, even if you give them a look. You oh. know, just looked at them wrong. Maybe you make a comment to the cops, and they come arrest you. Really? Yeah, that's that's not that's that's not right. You know. Yeah. yeah. And and it's not right for the people to set people on fire either. No. Yes, no. but the cops. They're, they're being too brutal in their treatment of peaceful protesters as well. But it's kind of like the same standard here in, uh, uh, I say, like the VPD. Because a couple of years ago, doing like the 420, like the marijuana day, yeah. right? Well, I you see, know what? Yeah. You know, it's funny. I was here. Oh, marijuana too? No, no, not for that. Oh. But, uh, I remember when uh, locally they lost the Stanley Cup <laughs> and the, and the, like, uh, and the people went crazy, right? It was nine years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know what? They were breaking into stores and stuff yeah, and yeah. stealing. Right. You know what? I was in Hong Kong. No stealing. No looting. No, nothing like that. I, I was there. You know, there was nothing like that. Like, yes, they maybe, they, they surround the police stations and, you know, they, they, they surrounded it and they peacefully said, don't hit us. And maybe some of them threw some no, eggs and stuff. Don't hit us. That's a, okay, fine. Well, just, yeah. yeah, well, you can say, I don't want to die, but you die, right? Uh, nobody want to die, but you just die, right? Like, yeah, don't hit yeah, us. Yeah. That's, a, that's only one-sided. Like, it is one-sided, but, you know, one side has guns. The other side has... Well, the government is yeah. the guns. I exactly, mean, exactly. Everybody has a gun, right? All no. The police officers, the soldiers, they have the guns. Right? Yeah, my, point, my point is, the, the, the reasoning is different. You're making yeah, comparisons yeah. that I don't think... Are apt no, because it's like the standard. Like mm -hmm. maybe I, I was thinking, um, like the it's, Hong Kong police were being too weak, and now I heard they have like a new police. Too weak? Yeah, they they were what you, what you, what well, at the talking? beginning of the. Excuse me. What, what do you mean? Too weak? Excuse me. Like, yeah, at the beginning of the protest, there, there wasn't like at you least it wasn't I was, like. I was at the very first protest. Like oh, the very first one. The day they were. Here recently. I got here oh, very okay, recently. Okay. The, I was at the very first protest. I was there. I was there from the from the morning oh. until the day until like until the cops started That's tear gassing. Fair. I can tell oh, they you. They were tear gassing you guys in the like, from the, the very fabric. first protest. Oh. Yes, yes, and it was unprovoked. Yes, we were we were marching and we were we wanted our voices Just heard. It was it was mostly an unprovoked attack on okay. peaceful protesters. I was there, okay. and I'm not saying the protesters have been perfect. Yeah, yeah. They, there's been times when they've been too violent themselves. Uh -huh. But one side has guns, and what and you know what? I've seen peaceful protesters get arrested for nothing more than just walking by the police. Oh, just protests. walking by. Just walking by. No, sometimes even just someone going home yeah, from like, work. Like you said, your friend got arrested yeah, yeah, for exactly. work. Black. Yeah, yeah, that's and he was that's on ridiculous. He wasn't even on the way to a protest. So he's still not released yet? No, I think they released him because uh, they, they had nothing they could charge him with. Yeah, yeah, but they yeah. held him for like two days for nothing. He didn't do anything wrong. Every you know, time so, in Hong Kong right now, definitely. Yeah, Holy I, shit! I have friends who are, you know, they're expatriates. They're, they're, you know, white or eight, like Japanese or whatever, and they're just trying to live their lives. Uh -huh. And they're more scared of the cops than the protesters. They shouldn't be scared about the police. Man. Like I'm okay with VPD so, officers, so that, right? They, 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 they fear it because they have friends who get arrested just for walking around, to going to work. I'm not talking about protesters anymore. I'm talking about normal people uh -huh. going to work. And maybe they wore black that day just because, you know, they have a black shirt. Okay. And you're telling me I can't wear black anymore? I'm like yeah, exactly. Black right now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about people who just go out wearing black. Or maybe they're sick and they wear a mask uh -huh. and then they get arrested. You know, is that fair? No. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm not saying, you know, the cops are all bad too. Some cops are, you know, just people doing their jobs. Uh -huh. But they're going a little out of hand beating people up and arresting people who aren't doing anything except going to and from work and that's i think that's ridiculous too personally well like why are they uh, like how i say it is get the fucking shit out of my face i, can, I, mean, they, I can show you the video here so you can see the many police see and okay. before i left they threw a pregnant woman on the ground i mean the pregnant like, woman yeah i remember that yeah yeah it's Okay, so 
I don't care how violent a pregnant woman's being. Mm -hmm. Do you have a right to throw a pregnant woman on no, the ground? No. Exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah. That's you know, like mom, if, yeah, daughter, yeah, if you're you know, a police yeah. officer, you should handle it peacefully, right? Mm -hmm. Especially, okay, I can understand if it was someone setting someone on fire. Yeah, chase that guy down and arrest him. But it's a pregnant woman. What did the pregnant woman do except, you know, talk to the cop? Maybe she was a little rude, but do you throw a person down for being rude? No. You have a conversation with them. You talk to them. You de-escalate, right? And the cops haven't been de-escalating. Okay. They've been escalating every situation. You know, I've been there. I, I was walking around. I've seen people get arrested just for walking by the cops. Maybe they took a picture, you know? And it's not illegal to take a picture, right? No. Exactly. It's not illegal to wear black. No. And, and just because the mask thing, yes, they passed the law, but the court ruled it no, unconstitutional. I know, I know. Like, well, I'm, I'm just wondering, like, I'm confused because yeah. I thought the bill was, like, gone, right? The, the, the tradition? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, bill was gone. gone like, like, why are people still freaking out? Like, Well, because it's not just about the bill anymore. It's about the police and accountability, you know? But it still didn't work. Like I said, like, uh, well, 420, a couple years ago, I seen a guy throw on the ground and kick a few times because he was, he was resisting arrest, right? Kick on the uh, kidney yes, and the stuff. The difference here, in this country, you know, if a cop does something wrong, there's democratic accountability, right? You know, no, 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 no. there is, there is, no, they'll investigate in the US, it. During the um, Ohio like, University, mm -hmm. they were protesting about the Vietnam War, right? Um, National Guard fire upon the people and kill like 16. That 16? was in the 1970s. That was a long time this ago. Still, no, yes. sir, yes. that's ridiculous. No, yeah. time does not matter, right? Yeah, but you know what? Those fucking Jews, you, you like, know, years ago. So we start talking about those Jews? Okay. No, we don't. I'm not, ta I'm not right? talking about Jews. I'm talking I know, about I know, police. but time is not, time is not an excuse yeah. for mistake or that's true. right. That's very true. And those National Guard haven't been charged. They were. They, they yes, survive. and that is injustice in America that needs to be addressed. Yeah. Just the same as. Justice in China and Hong Kong yeah. needs to be addressed. You know what? The protests aren't ab about anti-China. They're anti-government that is controlling their lives. You know, and you know what? In Hong Kong, five years ago, five years ago, they were they were kidnapping book publishers. Yeah, I'm sorry, was all book publishers. Yeah, in, in Hong Kong. I, okay, in Hong Kong, they could kidnap the publishers and take them to China and torture them and force them to say. The books they're publishing are false. I you thought, know, I thought you guys are like self-governed. We're not. Well, like it's an illusion because you know they've never respected the agreement. Uh -huh. You know, if they had respected the agreement, there'd be no protests. So what are you guys protesting right now? We're protesting the, the ability to have uh, universal suffrage. University. Universal suffrage, the, oh. the, the right to vote for who we want to. I not no, no, you guys have that, right? No, no, they're pre-approved by the Chinese government. Oh. Yes, that's not a true democracy. No. And that's okay. what we're asking for, which we don't think it's an unreasonable also, demand. Don't want to be independent, that's what you're not saying. Independent. No, no, nobody asked for independence. Nobody asked, no, nobody in Hong Kong asked for we're independence. Not like, we're not even like Tibet or the Uyghurs. Uh, we're trying to work within the agreement that the Chinese government agreed to in the first place. We're just trying to get them to hold by their agreement. That's it. That's it. Two systems. Yeah, so yeah, we I want know, the two systems. Like like, so we got back from how we started, right? I'm saying that yeah. like um, your starting point, everything starts good. Like, because when you guys all started back in June, I think, right? Yeah. People weren't saying anything. It's like, oh, it was just yeah, because against the anti-tradition yeah, bill. Make, makes sense too. Yeah, Anybody here, but it's become but a bigger, bigger problem. And then I don't know what happened. It get really tense up, and then now people are throwing gasoline because in the. Because from two system, we see it's going to be to one system. Instead of the two system we we're expecting in the past 20 years, uh -huh. China is getting. More I don't know. If you see, like, these are just regular students, right? They're on their way to school. They're not protesting. They're not wearing black. They're wearing school uniforms and they're being know, searched randomly. Crazy. Um, I've seen videos of those students uh, wearing masks, like uh, my age too, because yeah. I'm a. Uh, I don't know about YouTube, whatever this guy is doing, right? Yeah. I, well, I don't know. I don't know this I'm a person. Minor. I'm only 16 right now. Oh, okay. I don't know if this shit is allowed here in Canada or not. But well, yeah, there's uh, a right to film in Canada. You know, can film people okay, without. If it's in a public space, oh, they okay. can film. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too comfortable with him filming me either. Yeah, no offense, but like, you know, it's all good. You know, this is this is what freedom looks like. 
You know? What's the you know? point? I'm Canadian too. You want me to see I'm not passport? saying you're no, I'm I'm just saying like if you if if you want to be a part of a free society, you have to be okay with people being free. I know, but right? 